Hi, my name is Mary Jo, a volunteer with the Medical Reserve Corps of Greater Kansas City. In this video, we will demonstrate the use of oxygen. Attaching the regulator to the oxygen tank is the first step in getting oxygen to the individual. The oxygen in the tank is under great pressure and needs the regulator to make it breathable. Place the regulator over the top of the tank, lining up the two prongs and the O-ring. When fitted in place, tighten the black knob securely. To open the tank, attach the key to the top of the tank and turn counterclockwise. The needle on the gauge should indicate that the tank is full. Check for leaks. You will be able to hear them. Attach the tubing for the nasal cannula to the tank at the outlet on the regulator. Adjust the flow meter to the prescribed rate. Check to be sure the oxygen is flowing by holding the nasal cannula up to your cheek to feel the flow. Place the cannula in the nostrils, looping the tubing behind their ears, tightening the tubing under the chin. Have the individual use the oxygen for the prescribed amount of time. When not in use, turn the tank off using the key and turning in a clockwise direction. Bleed the tank using the flow meter. Turn the flow meter completely off when you do not hear the oxygen escaping. An oxygen concentrator concentrates the amount of oxygen in the air from 21% to about 89%. This is a home concentrator. The home model needs a source of electricity to power it. The first step in using a home concentrator is to plug it in and power it on. Adjust the regulator to the prescribed airflow. Attach the tubing and nasal cannula to the machine. Check for airflow. Place the nasal cannula in the individual's nostrils. Loop the tubing over their ears and tighten under the chin. Have the individual use the concentrator for the prescribed amount of time. <laughs> 